Morning you guys, it's Karen and today I wanted to come and talk to you about magnesium as a supplement because I think it's super interesting and it can help with so many things but I wanted to tell you the kind of other side of the story that you can actually have too much magnesium um, possibly not many people but it can happen and what you can do if you think you know if you're not sure and that's the journey that I have taken so since um, actually I've been taking magnesium for years but not regularly I'm not somebody that takes many vitamins regularly I think the only thing I'm taking regularly is pumpkin seed oil at the moment but I will take things in phases or also there are um, supplements that you can use as and when needed and magnesium is one of those you know and another way of taking magnesium other than a supplement is to use salts in your bath um, which is something else that I did and so I was taking them over the years for to try and relax everything in me it helps relax muscles it helps relax nerves and so I was always very anxious and I always had tight muscles and so it was something that I took for that to try and help me sleep um, but when I got these migraines it was something that came up again and again that my magnesium was something that could help and so I looked into it a bit more then and I bought different types of magnesium. I've tried magnesium oxide, magnesium glycinate, magnesium L3 and 8, um, quite a few different types. So let me tell you just some of the kind of facts about it. So a deficiency can result in getting peptic ulcer, um, you can have nausea, fatigue, depression, insomnia, anxiety, high blood pressure and palpitations. So again, palpitations is something I've had over the years and high blood pressure is something I've had over the years. So I always thought, you know, magnesium is going to be something that's good for me to take. Um, the benefits of magnesium are that it's thought to help with migraines because it's thought that a lot of people with migraines are deficient in magnesium. Um, it can help with constipation. And in fact, you can buy magnesium, you know, in a concentrated amount for constipation. It's thought to help anxiety, muscle cramps. You know, if you have like leg cramps at night, it's supposed to help that. Palpitations and insomnia, you know, it's supposed to help you sleep. The risk factors for being deficient in magnesium, because it is easy to get enough from food, but it depends on your tastes and your, your diet and lifestyle, you know. Um, so not eating enough of those foods will obviously put you at risk, but diabetes and GI diseases. So any disease of the stomach where you're not retaining um, nutrients and also any kind of diabetes. For me, I eat a lot of magnesium because I eat a lot of nuts and seeds and there is a lot of magnesium in nuts and seeds. And I also, again, on and off, eat a lot of dark chocolate. I have like five or six squares of dark chocolate a day and there's a lot of magnesium in that and also I've had a lot of um, magnesium salt baths over the years you know it's something that I used to not used to I still regularly have in my bath until recently um, I eat flax seeds that's another high source almond milk is fortified with magnesium I drink a lot of almond milk and that also has magnesium in it I take pumpkin seeds as a pumpkin seed oil as a supplement and pumpkin seeds I eat as well and they have a lot of magnesium in them um, and then there are risk factors for having too much magnesium and the risk factors for too much are if you are on a protein pump inhibitor so that is what I am on which is lansoprazole um, or omeprazole I used to be on omeprazole and was changed to lansoprazole and that's a proton pump inhibitor it's for indigestion that can put you at risk for having too much magnesium menopause or perimenopause can put you at risk for having too much any kidney problems and things like pumpkin supplements because they've already got magnesium in them at high levels so <clears throat> if you have too much magnesium in your system some of the symptoms are the same as if you don't have enough so palpitations nausea um but when I looked it up more recently, it was like headache and low blood pressure. Now I don't get low blood pressure, even though I had high blood pressure, I'm on medication for low, to lower my blood pressure, but I've been monitoring it and haven't had low, low blood pressure. Obviously I have headaches because I have daily migraines. Um, I don't have nausea, but I do have palpitations and I have palpitations either when I don't take my um, digestion tablet, believe it or not, that it's for that. Um, that's one of the reasons I take it anyway but also if I take a magnesium 
and I've been researching this for a good few months now because I noticed that whenever I took magnesium it didn't have the effect it should so it should help you sleep and instead of helping me sleep it was keeping me awake I was like wide awake whenever I took it even if I changed they tell you to take it in the evening because of how it can make you calmer and a little bit drowsy I would take it in the morning and, and I would still not be able to sleep that night and I would have palpitations and I was like this is just ridiculous why am I getting the opposite effects so I researched it and there isn't that much out there about you know when you look it up there's not much information to be found because you'll put in magnesium and insomnia or magnesium and palpitations and what it tells you is you take magnesium for palpitations take magnesium for insomnia so I thought that what I would do was test my magnesium levels and I did that by going to Medichex. Medichex is one of the companies that I use for home tests. I've used Medichex and Let's Get Checked. And I have over the years had many different kind of home tests. It's, it's an area of interest for me as you guys know. And I think I was at that point where I was like, I don't know if I should try you know, a fifth or sixth type of magnesium and maybe that will help my migraines. Um, or what, what to do going forward and why I'm having these side effects. And I thought the only way is to do clinical tests. That's kind of where my head lies, as you guys know, you know, get the actual evidence. How much magnesium have I got? Have I got a normal amount? Have I got a low amount? Have I got a high amount? So I had my tests done with MediCheck. So they send you everything you need to do at home blood test um i did that sent it back and it came back that my magnesium level is too high so i am so pleased with having done that test i think it was 40 pound the test um i can't remember because i know that i put i've got honey on my machine and i think it applied a discount code you know but i think it was about 40 pound and for, for the peace of mind that i've got from that and the information that i can use is so good so I've just stopped using all magnesium and for me it's not something that I need to take and I even need to be a bit more careful about you know if I'm eating dark chocolate every day and nuts and seeds I possibly don't need to have the magnesium salts in my bath you know I need to make sure that I'm not using not having bath salts too often because I have too much magnesium the way to reduce magnesium in your system is to up your dosage of calcium calcium can help to to balance everything out you know so basically my electrolytes are not balanced um and so i went and bought let me show you i bought these from amazon these are via active via active calcium plus d i'm considering doing a vitamin d test as well because again i would be really interested to see what my vitamin d levels are now that these tests are not going to last forever you know i would need to do another magnesium test in probably six months or a year um, if i'm still curious as to where it's at or if there's any reason to um, but i used to buy these from boots used to get them in a little box and it's about half the size and they're absolutely delicious now they have got sugar in and i try to avoid sugar but they're tiny and you have two of these but it's like two little soft caramel chews and so i have those as my kind of treat in the day if you like um and that way i'm getting some calcium but it was funny that it that calcium was the solution because i actually had under my eye for about a week i had a constant you know when you get that little nerve going sometimes you get it in your eyelid sometimes you get it under your eye and i had it under my eye constantly twitching and that's actually a sign of a calcium deficiency um there isn't a calcium test that i can see there, there is a full uh, mineral test that i may consider but um it's pretty expensive <laughs> and i think they don't you don't can't do that one with doing it on and a home test you know um so yeah that's what i'm taking to try and reduce the magnesium and see if getting it back to a normal level might might be helpful in these migraines so it's kind of the opposite to the advice that you're given so i thought that, that would be interesting for you guys to know because there are things there that it can really really help like i said if you've got any problems with constipation um it can help that if you've got any problems with anxiety with insomnia um i would recommend taking it but if you are curious as to what your levels are you can also go and have a test you know you get sent this sample like i said you take your own blood sample put it in a little tube you send it off in the post and you get the results within about a week i'll link these um for you in the description because they are really tasty and it's a nice way to get calcium um, i thought i got enough calcium to be honest because the, i drink a lot of um, almond milk and it's got added calcium in it but um i guess not because i don't always eat a lot of dairy outside of that we we have a 
occasions where we do where we'll have like a spaghetti bolognese and I have cheese on it um, but if not like the meals that we've got this week when I looked at it I was like nope there's no cheese in there anywhere at all you know um, no cheese no butter no nothing so yeah I hope you found that useful I know that you guys were interested in hearing more about supplements so let me know what supplements you'd like to hear about I've got a ton of supplements in my cupboards that I just sort of use here and there um, I hope you're all well and I'll speak to you again soon